Okay, welcome Libras. This is your February uh, 2021 Valentine's reading. I'm, of course, Rachel Stebbins Navy, aka Villaggio Strada, here with your Valentine forecast. I'm going to be starting out with the couples and then move on into you single Libras readings. I'll draw five cards that kind of represent the scenario, your energy in the environment, your challenges, you and your partner, or your your single life may be facing. I uh, may draw two more just to kind of pick up your energy, your partner's energy, or your potential partner's energy. And then, of course, I'll do the Archangel message for you. So let's see what's going on here with my Libras. Um, and by the way, guys, keep in mind this is a general reading. will not resonate for everyone, so take what does and leave the rest. And, of course, if you would like a more personal reading about a challenge or situation in your life, you can reach out to me on my Facebook page or Facebook Messenger with Villaggio Strega, or you can email me. All my information is in the, that's why, uh, either the description below or in the About section of my channel. So that said, okay, may I please have five cards for Libra couples, please? Got ten of wands coming out with ten of wands. Okay, four more. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Libras. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Just a moment to take this one in here, Libras. Six of Pentacles in reverse is your overall outcome. And with the King of Wands is your challenge. Interesting. Okay, Ten of Wands. We're starting out with Ten of Wands. So this is the energy leading into the Valentine's Day or Valentine's Week, etc. Uh, Ten of Wands energy is, of course, uh, representing you in the relationship as someone who does all the work. Uh, you, in fact, this is a very, very Libra trait is, is sometimes to do so much of the work in the relationship or the job or whatever it is that Libra's involved in that they vest, they become the work, they become the relationship. That's a very classic Libra trait. Uh, the flip side to this is, is if you're doing all the work, if you're doing all the, bearing all the burden of things, you're not making time to uh, relax, enjoy, stop and smell the roses as it were there, Libra, because you're so vested in what needs to get done, the business of living, and this may be your chance, Valentine's may be your chance to kind of open up with your sweetheart here. And really have that open uh, open conversation, communication, just talk things out. Uh, maybe your partner may be coming to like the realization too that like, wow, my 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 Libra works so much, you know, and 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 willing definitely to kind of participate um, in all. There may be a little bit of a conflict uh, because of this Libra. You've got five of wands energy here as. Uh, your your center card, which is kind of like the overall energy or what's underneath the surface of things going on. Uh, it is indicating here, this is why this communication card is kind of coming out, Divine's helping you kind of open up, up about something, is because while you're working hard and you're... I, want to say your family is not seeing you, your partner is not seeing you as much as they would like to. Your, uh, your challenge for your partnership for Valentine's is you be the leader. In other words, you're the one, while even though you, in one sense over here, you it's kind of like you do everything or, or you have this kind of vibe of, of taking on everything, the burdens of the relationship, etc., the housework, whatever it is. Um, you're also being asked to take the leadership when it comes to igniting that passion, that spark, that uh, coming up with plans, strategizing things. So if you want something a little bit more on the romantic end, uh, it'll be up to you is what I'm really gathering from this. We'll see how this plays out here a little bit more uh, when I pull the couple's car individual cards. But for the most part, I'm seeing there may be some obstacles for you guys. It may have something to do with finance. You've got Six of Pentacles out here too. Uh, perhaps you're just trying to save money. Perhaps, you know, you're working hard or you're just feeling like there isn't enough Libra. Uh, this is this is money nonetheless. It's there, uh, but it may be slow moving or it may be kind of dependent on someone 
uh, offering something to you. Uh, maybe you're kind of like waiting on a raise, waiting for taxes, things like that. But it sounds like the concern is mostly your uh, you, your labors and your finance uh, for Valentine's. That doesn't sound like much fun. But the doorway to, to communication is indeed opening. It will be up to you, though, uh, dear Libras, to kind of initiate that, to sit down, make the time, and uh, have those conversations that are worthwhile. So, so if I may, can I please have one card that represents Libra in a relationship and Libra's partner, please? Let's see what we get for your energy for Valentine's Day, February 2021, please. Can I please have a card that represents Libras? For some of those Libras out there, thank you. We get the full card energy. Can I please have uh, a card that represents some of Libra's partners, please, that are out there? Can I please have a card that represents Libra partners? Those that are coupled up. What's the collective energy for them? Oop, there we go. Okay. So uh, I really think many of you, and this is why that King of Wands card is coming out, uh, and, and the communication needs to happen. Libra, you're, you're like, okay, I want a new beginning in something. I want a fresh start. I want a fresh perspective. We're going on a new journey, whether it's together or not. Uh, but Libra is really about self-exploration right now um, and, and like moving forward, going on a new journey, uh, going, doing something new. You know, perhaps you guys have been stuck in the house a while, like, like many with the COVID situation. And it may be time to simply try a new restaurant. It may be a new takeout. It may be time to, you know, drive down a road together, or listen to the music and, and talk about things you've never really talked about before but that's your vibe is you want you want that new excitement that new uncharted territory um new adventure for both yourself and your partner some of your partners may be feeling like though it's time for a transformation too they recognize that that you yourself are like okay uh something they're gonna take the lead on something we need to talk about a few things so that way they, you both can transform and transmute that energy into something positive, something you both want. Uh, represented by this death card here. It's not necessarily saying it's the end of the relationship. It's saying something in it is transforming. Uh, what it is is entirely up to you. But it has a lot to do with both your finance and the actions you take. And maybe it's simply that your partner is recognizing uh, that they need to carry some more of the weight in the relationship that perhaps if you've been uh, enabling or allowing your partnership Libra to allow you to do the work in the relationship or you know be the responsible one especially when it's in regards to finance uh, they recognize that there needs to be a balance here and that's why you may be may be like um, Okay, we need to take a different approach to this. So that said, let's see what the angels have to say. For the Libras, please. For February 2021 20, Valentine's. Angel, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages is there for Libras, please? Coupled Libras. What messages do you have for those coupled Libras? messages do you have for the couple of Libras, please? One more. Thank you. We've got life review. Boy, I've seen this a lot with these, these uh, Valentine readings here. Take an inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Like I was saying, Libra, you you be the relationship. You don't want to be the relationship. You don't want to have to do all the work all the time, Libra, in the relationship. You want to make sure you're taking time to yourself. Your partner is pulling their share of things. And you guys make the time to communicate about it all. 
uh, justly. It's, it's, it's long overdue, I get a sense of, for many of you. So that said, let's move on to the single Libras and see what's, what's going on for some of them. Let's have a look here. See what's going on for them. Well, that was quick. Am I taking you? I am. Okay. See what's... Am I taking you? No. Okay. Starting out with Nave of Cups energy. Three of Cups. Interesting. Okay. Center card is Seven of Pentacles. Good. Okay. What's Libra Singles Challenge? I'm smiling and kind of chucking to myself because the first card out is the Knave of Cups, but it's represented by three little owlets. Owl is one of my totems and uh, a medicine I work with uh, quite often, but to see it in the form of owlets makes uh, very good sense to me because it is a very, it represents someone who's not exactly emotionally uh, mature. So let's talk about that, okay? Single Libras, yes, for, for uh, Knave of Cups here. Knave of Cups is somebody who's a little bit, again, immature, a little bit ex inexperienced when it comes to the flow of life, the seas of life, as it were. Uh, they mean well. They're very fun. They're very feisty. You could be finding that you're just taking off on a new adventure, have a new uh, bright outlook on life, and you're 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 perhaps even happy in your singlehood. Perhaps for you right now, your cup is filled with uh, merriment and joy because of good friendships, because of uh, just ease in life in general. It's very carefree is the Knave of Cups, the Page of Cups energy. Um, they just sometimes lack a little experiential know-how. They sometimes lack a little uh stability at times they like i said they can be a little bit immature um, but there's nothing wrong with that they're young they're full of life and they're eager and ready to experience what life has to offer your uh, second card out is the three of cups energy this is again joy abundance with friends uh you could be spelling spending your valentine's either on zoom with friends or some sort of environment uh, where there's just a very good vibe, very good feeling, a lot of joy, and a, and maybe not uh, abundance in a sense, but abundance in a, a financial sense, but abundance in a sense that uh, everybody's happy and content. Uh, I get a strong sense that your love interest, too, if you are single, Libra, and um, uh, uh, kind of have your eye on somebody, I get a, get a strong sense that this may be a co-worker. So you may be working Valentine's and just kind of like happy to be around this co-worker. I say that because the next card, your center card, is the Seven of Pentacles. And uh, that represents to me that you're just working hard. You're doing what you have to do in life to pay the bills. You're slow and steady as the course. Uh, this is a very Taurus kind of energy to it. Very Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could be dealing with one of those. Um, but this is a this is you at your center, at your core. You're very focused on your finance and paying your bills, taking care of, doing what you need to do in life. Uh, your challenge is the wheel of fortune. And and often when I see this in a challenge position, uh, Libra, it's indicating to me that uh, you need to be reminded to be grateful for what you have and to make sure you 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 show gratitude for what you for what you have as gifts you have a bit of luck on your side uh, that you may not be acknowledging so this is your opportunity for both expansion and uh, uh, to expand on maybe your feelings or expand on uh, some sort of energy with the with the joy in your life uh, as much as it is uh, really seizing an opportunity and recognizing luck is luck is in your favor your overall energy for for your singles reading for valentine's is the four of wands that's celebration and anticipation of change again going back to your your knave of cups your three of cups here uh the cups are indicating that emotional fulfillment for something new while you stay the course 
with your finance, your challenge, of course, again, remembering how lucky you are, expansion. And then this steps in for your Valentines uh, to kind of indicate like, hey, all is well. You have each other. Perhaps it's you, yes, expressing that gratitude, living in the moment. Uh, very much so with Four of Wands energy. And you kind of have an idea, a strong sense of where you want life to go from here. So let me pull a card for you and your potential. Uh, if I don't knock my cards over here. <laughs> your potential partnership here, uh, single Libras. And let's see what we get. May I please have a card for single Libras? For 2021, please. Single Libra's energy. Thank you. You got ace of coins. Yeah, you're you're all about work. All about that new opportunities, walking through a new door, like that Knave of the Cups is indicating, that Wheel of Fortune, all this. All of this is you seizing an opportunity that's Jack and the Beanstalk for anybody who's interested. Uh, represented here in the cards. This is also the Tarot of the Divine deck and the Lisa Parker Tarot Familiar deck I'm using uh, for anyone interested. But but yes, Libra, you're focused on your finance and building a dream. You may be getting a new employment opportunity around the time of Valentine's Day. Uh, that's going to bring you some more finance in your life. And again, you're, you're staying the course. What's your potential love interest like here, Libra? What's Libra's love interest like? If they have one, please. Or maybe it's someone interested in Libra and Libra doesn't know because they're so focused on the finance, huh? That's always possible, too. What's Libra's love interest like? Oh, we got two. Okay. Two came out. So first we got this person stands up for themselves, right? Because uh, we've got seven of... They, they have a lot of confidence, uh, is what this really represents, uh, their Libra. And uh, they want, you want to view them as someone of confidence, because, because confidence can be a beautiful thing as long, as long as it's not overly confident. You want somebody who's able to stand up for themselves. You want somebody who can be assertive and knows what they want. Uh, this may also involve for some of you someone from your past returning. Uh, some sort of childhood connection. Maybe it's somebody grew up with. Maybe it's a high school sweetheart. Something along those lines. But there's a connection with nostalgia here uh, in regards to that. Maybe their energy's changed over the years and now they're more assertive perhaps. Uh, but for you, Libra, it may uh, be somebody who you're already familiar with. And definitely has a bit of a backbone, has some confidence under the belt, which is, there's an, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Sounds like a good good thing to me, too. So let's have a look then, lastly, at what the angel uh, guardians want you to know. Ooh, okay. Her audience, hearing things clearly. Okay, it says, notice the loving guidance, your heart inside your mind, or from other people. So it's part intuition uh, here, Libra. It's part uh, going with your gut and feeling things out with your heart, both for yourself and from other people. It's kind of like a soulmate card in and of itself because when you know it, you know it. Um, that connection's there. So don't question it. Just go for it if that's really what you're seeking uh but you'll know it when you know when you see it so that said libras i wish you the best don't forget to like and subscribe and uh you know leave me a comment below i'll try to get back to everybody here within 48 hours blessed be and have a blessed valentine's day take care